When it comes to holidaying by the ocean, location is key. And today I'm checking out a deluxe camping experience that offers tranquility and rugged beauty right on your doorstep. Overlooking this stunning stretch of coastline on York Peninsula is Hillocks Drive. If you imagine York Peninsula as a leg, then Hillocks Drive is just under the big toe, not far from Marion Bay. I'm here to check out the first ocean pod to be installed on the property. Think of it as a cross between a large caravan and the inside of a luxury yacht. As property owner Pam Bennett explains, they're quite unique. They've been developed specifically for, uh, for Helix Drive um, and they're made from metal and fibreglass. In the tourist business we run a holiday rental, the, the homestead, uh, which sleeps 12 people. This ocean pod and there will be two more ocean pods are being built and they will have as good a view as this one does. 70 bush camping sites are dotted along the coast at Hillocks Drive, but I think a pod provides the ultimate beachside home away from home. Inside you'll find a comfy bed and ensuite bathroom, an extra bunk and a complete kitchen. Outside there's a barbecue and also a great fire pit area for that quintessential campfire experience. But I must say, the main draw card for me is I'm just steps away from picture perfect Butler's Beach. They've named this ocean pod Poolside, and for good reason. Take a stroll along the sand, and you'll discover an irresistible natural low tide swimming spot. This is a really popular pool to swim in. How beautiful uh, is it? It's so clear. It's quite deep. And there's lots of marine life that lives in the pool yeah. that is quite rare along the coastline. We have people come and do surveys in this rock pool. Ah, yes. What an idyllic spot. It's not hard to picture myself here for a few days. Swimming, lazing on the beach, fishing and just taking in these wonderful York Peninsula views. The pod looks at Kangaroo Island. It's uh, directly south of the pod. You've got beautiful views of Hillocks Point um, that is quite close. And then behind Hillocks Point you can see Stenhouse Bay, Marion Bay, Cape Spencer and the Orthorpes Islands. So the, uh, the lighthouse on the Orthorpes Islands you can see really clearly at night time. Ah, oh, that was stunning. The most incredible view and just a beautiful walk and amazing scenery. It's lovely here. Time for a cool drink. Now, speaking of walking, Hillocks Drive forms part of the new Walk the York Leisure Trail, which is currently under development. When complete, this walking and cycling trail will follow a route around the coastline of York Peninsula. I caught up with Letitia Dahl-Helm from the York Peninsula Council to find out more about this exciting project. It's going to be over 500 kilometres, so it's a pretty big walk. It'll be one of the largest ones in Australia. So at the moment we've got the 60 kilometres of existing trail, so that's about 18 sections that you can come and walk now and over the next 18 months we'll see the construction of the remainder of the sections. Co-funded by the Australian Government and York Peninsula Council, the Walk the York will comprise a variety of surfaces. Everything from gravel trails to beach tracks. So why walk the York Peninsula? I suppose we want to see um, give everyone the opportunity so that they can see our spectacular coastline. Obviously I'm a little bit biased living in the area but we have such a beautiful coast that is quite varied, especially because there's so many communities dotted around the lake. It is pretty easy to walk between townships for, on a beautiful day like today. There will be shelters and information boards along the way and things to keep your eye out for like these great mosaic artworks in Edithburg. Much like the Heisen Trail, it's a challenge to be undertaken in stages. With sections open now, you might like to think about dusting off the treadley or your walking shoes these holidays and be among the first to walk the York. <laughs>